In what ways do you think some of these wildly popular pop culture shows can do better at actually depicting a science argument? And is that their role, do you think? So, as we say in the skeptic world, it's based on claims. So when you say some of these shows could do a better job, okay, it depends on the specific claim. One of the, prob one of the great things about CSI, uh, crime scene investigation, which that's what you guys would be doing right now if you weren't here, right, is be watching <laughs> one of them. Did they have Poughkeepsie yet? CSI Poughkeepsie. <laughs> Some people are watching that. And that's cool because uh, the premise is that they use science to solve problems. It's all based on evidence from the past or on the future, and we make these fabulous conclusions. But apparently there is an effect in courtrooms now where people have these very high expectations of DNA evidence. Well, DNA, well, that's done. You know, done. But it's not perfect. It, uh, it's still uh, it's based on probabilities. So it works both ways. So it really does, do, not to get too far afield here, but it really does depend on the specific claim. And by the way, we did a whole show on pseudoscience where I turn a light on and off with my mind and uh, we do some illusion effects and it, then we walk on fire the way you do. <laughs> People pay 5,000 bucks to walk on fire. Uh, I got paid. <laughs> <laughs> And it, I'll just tell you, it just works. You can walk on fire. The big, the key is, and this will come to you naturally, you don't need much coaching, is to go really fast. 